And time for the business news now with Anna. Dermot, thank you. Good morning to you. Now, the downturn has largely been unkind to mobile phone operators. But the boss of Vodafone Europe has said this morning that recovering European economies should pave the way for a comeback in coming quarters. Well, to tell us more about this highly competitive sector is Dr. Michael Hecker of Mobile Telesystems. His company is the largest telecom provider in Russia and it's the second biggest in Europe. So, uh, Dr. Hecker, how confident are you about the future in Europe? given the fact that just in the last few minutes the OECD has talked about a surprisingly good recovery from the US and Asia but says Europe is very different it's going to be a heck of a lot slower uh, absolutely uh, in general we're, we're pretty confident and we see the the telecom industry benefiting from the overall recovery but in a differentiated mode uh, we would say that whereas the the, the central European telecoms will go into the growth turn in a rather slow mode because uh, growth is rather linked to employment levels. Growth in uh, emerging markets as our market in Russia and uh, also some other emerging markets in Eastern Europe and around the globe will most probably have a higher exposure to the, to the overall GDP recovery. As far as Europe is concerned, there have also been a lot of developments over the last few months. The EU very keen, for example, to make sure that it's cheaper for people to use their phones when they move between countries. They say they want to clamp down on rip-off roaming, for example. That's good news for customers, but it must affect companies like yours. It must dent your profits. Uh, well, I mean, mo most companies as well as ours, of course, we've been expecting... Uh, a certain changes in the roaming regulation and the roaming tariffing for a long time. So this doesn't hit us unexpectedly. Uh, at the same time, it's, it's, it's compensated by usage increase. Customers uh, going on lower tariffs and roaming will simply use their phone more, and we see that there is a, there's a take up in, in, in roaming usage compensating for the, uh, uh, for the overall lower tariff systems. I suppose one thing about a recession is it makes it easier to buy other companies. You yourself have, have been involved in uh, certainly taking controlling interest in Comstar, for example. Here in the UK, uh, we've seen Orange and T-Mobile joining up to make the, the UK's biggest mobile phone company. Do you see that being a trend that will continue for some time to come? Will we see more consolidation in this industry? Uh, yes, we do believe so. Uh, we would say that 2010... Potentially 11 are it will again be a phase of uh, of rising m a activities. This will partly be in market consolidation, but not only in market consolidations. There is a there is a lot of cash flows out there. Uh, there is a, a lot of uh, need for consolidation in highly competitive markets, and we believe that uh, with the overall recovery, there will be a raise or an increase in M&A activity, and there are some first indicators on that. Okay, Dr. Michael Hecker, interesting to talk to you. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you very much.